What's going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another video, man. It been a lot going on this week, man. But one topic I want to touch on specifically was the Taste Six Hundred and Rondo Number Nine and C Day situation. So the paperwork been released, the real paperwork that's basically saying Taste Six Hundred never testified, he never snitched. Instead, everybody's saying that Rondo name came up in the paperwork, and Rondo's lawyer basically saying that they didn't do a good job on trying to identify c -Day as the shooter. So people are alleging that Rondo told, you know. I mean, it's been speculation going on. It was even on DJ Vlad. You know, Rondo made a post basically saying, you know, if Vlad don't stop bashing his name in his street cred, he going to sue. You feel me? Now, this situation turned out good for Tay. He been trying to prove that he ain't really say nothing for years. He trying to say that it all stemmed from a situation with Lil Dirt, and they basically wanted to blackball him from getting in the music industry. You know, but Tay been taking off. You know, it's sad. Rondo and C-Day, you know, they got all that time like that. They got like 39 years. The situation messed up because I remember when I first started following the movement, how tight everybody was. L.A. was still living. Dirt was rocking out with everybody. And them boys, you know, they was lit. They was popping. They could have... Did great things. Some of them went on to do great things, but you know, Tay, he kind of fell back. You know, he went through his situation of trying to prove that he ain't say nothing to nobody. But his music always been dope and he always been able to stay relevant. Rondo was going to blow up if the situation never occurred. You know, he had people like Meek checking for him. Of course, Dirt was checking for him. See, they had Sosa in them looking at him and stuff like that. And it's just a messed up situation because I feel like. These boys, man, you know, they all grew up together, and they, they was real tight, and it's like the situation went left, and it's real crazy, but that's how the streets work. I know Tay Glad, his name clear, you know, people, you know, coming at Rondo or whatever, man, but at the end of the day, I just feel like the situation at this point, it is what it is, you know, you can't really cry over spilled milk. The real paperwork came out, people could see for themselves, you could read between the lines, and you can make your own assumptions on the situation. But, man, I'm just, you know, looking back at the situation, it's kind of shocking, you know, how everything played out. Because when I first started following them boys, you couldn't tell me that they wouldn't be homies forever and stuff like that. So it's a real sad situation, but that's what the streets do, man. It divide homeboys, you feel what I'm saying? It get crazy, it get ugly out here. People turn on each other, it's sad. But at the end of the day, man, I pray Rondo and see they get out on that appeal because I don't want to see nobody in that cage. Hopefully Tay keep doing what he doing. You know, he been rocking out, been shining, been making good music. So hopefully he keep doing that. Man, it's a lot of stuff going on. If y'all go online, y'all can read all the paperwork and stuff like that, man. But look, man, I appreciate the love and support. Be sure to tune in. More videos coming tonight. If you're new to the fam, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell for uploads. Family, y'all already know what it is. Share these videos. We on that race to 10K. Ain't nothing changed. Check out the links in the description. Be sure to support. Show your love, leave your comments below. Love, fam.